All right, team, welcome back, man. We're gonna check out this crazy training video, and I'm gonna give you some thoughts and perspectives on it based off of my experience as a close quarters battle team leader in an anti-terrorism unit while I was in the Marine Corps after having deployed uh, to Europe in support of anti-terrorism operations. Let's get into this thing. All right, so here we go. A crazy little intro. Get this thing started. All right, cool overhead footage. Everybody getting geared up. Three operators there. Shooting. I don't know what kind of stance that was. We're doing some crazy moving. Just wait till this thing picks up, man. So it says it's shooting with live ammunition. I, I can tell you that if that's the case, uh, now here we got four operators. Holy smokes! Come on now. I can tell you that this would take an astronomical amount of trust in your peers and having gone through a lot of the training that I have, you know, you spend so much time dry firing, you spend so much time up against the tire wall as it would be as you're going through your drills and then you go through blank and then simunition and then on to live rounds and I haven't done any training quite like this uh, with live ammunition. Man, that's crazy. I can tell you, after the amount of training and shooting I did, I used to be a really good uh, marksman. I can tell you that, that that group right there is the standard. Had one look like a flyer a little outside the brain box, but here we are doing some more live fire towards each other, it looks like. I mean, I, I've, I've thrown Molotov cocktails and have had Molotov cocktails thrown at me while I was doing some training in uh, England with the Royal Marines. But these dudes are just off the chain. The amount of trust that these guys have in each other has to be ridiculous. I mean, living, breathing, eating, partying, doing everything together. They were blowing, popping balloons. Nothing like this would ever happen in the States. Okay, okay. Man, it's filmed so well, too. I don't know what drill that is, but I can tell you they probably did that a million times. Doing nothing but dry fire. So here we are coming it to a close. That is absolutely crazy, right? So you think about you know stuff like this and, and what we may see other countries and other organizations do and sometimes it may make it feel like we are extraordinarily risk averse sometimes. And I tell you that regardless of what limitations that you have uh, at you, you need to find a way to make some challenging training that's gonna keep dudes engaged because that's what that's why people join the military. But, you know, stuff like this, you know, it's not going to happen in an ordinary unit regardless of what branch you're in. And I can tell you that those dudes were certainly not regular army uh, in the Russian military. Right? Those, those guys have had a lot of training, a lot of specialized training, and are, I'm no doubt in a specialized unit. I'm not sure which unit that was. I don't know where that came from, but I just saw it and thought, holy smokes, man, we got to take a look at this thing because there's something to it uh, as it, when it does come to a training aspect, when it comes to knowing who our potential adversaries may or may not be somewhere down the road. And uh, that's just something crazy. I am looking forward to your thoughts and comments down below. I'll tell you, one of the craziest things that, I, that Stoker has done uh, wasn't I mean, I didn't shoot at my at my at my buds, but I was doing some um, as a hearse master when I was in the corps, uh, kind of like spies and fries in the army. 
Uh, we were doing some training in uh, Italy somewhere, or Greece. I, I think we were on Crete. We were on this old rickety tower. And I remember uh, being the rappel master, and I was the last, the last dude to go down. Uh, I went down Aussie style, and when I pushed off, man, I was like, "Hey, man, you got me!" Like dudes down below is like, "Hey, on blade." I'm like, "Hey, on rappel." And like, man, you got me. He's like, "Yeah, I got you." No, you got me. It's like, "No, I got you." Okay, you got me, and I just jump. And sure enough, you know, obviously, I'm here today. Uh, the dude uh, executed his dude as well as being on belay and of course I didn't go over so well with a few folks but it was pretty stinking awesome but I think there again it just goes to show you the level of trust that you get uh, when you're working in some type of units but you can get that level of trust in any unit that's out there if you're training and living and working with a sense of purpose does that make sense so again, man, leave some comments down below. We'll keep this conversation rolling. Till then, stay out there, you keep grinding, and you stay stoked.